So you're going to click on this tasks up here and your task bar is going to box, excuse me, is going to come up. All right. And as you can see, I've already added some different tasks, just clean room, feed dog, meet Bob, you know, just basic, um, basic um, tasks. I use this for essentially just for email um, and maybe email related things that need to be taken care of, you know. Um, so if I'm, for instance, if I'm doing emails and I have to leave, I have to go do something, whatever. I just write a quick task list of what needs to be done. Um, just a quick reminder of what's in the drafts. Um, maybe what I already completed as well. Um, and just, you know, whatever I need to write down so that I don't forget it, okay? And when I come back to my Go to my Gmail, I bring it up um, right away so that I just go ahead and complete those tasks and don't have to worry about it. All right, so uh, there's a number of actions you can do. Um, you know, just basic, uh, oh, the, the one that sticks out the most to me is email task list, which is pretty useful. Um, you know, say you want to, you make a task list and you want to send it to another account of yours or, um, a coworker or a friend or whatever, you know, just a, you know, it's, it's an easy way to kind of, you don't have to rewrite your task list and you can share them with whoever they need to be shared with. So that's pretty cool. Um, so that's basically uh, Google Tasks. Um, next we have labels and filters, which I love labels and filters. Okay, so useful. Um, as you can see, these uh, this Google team right here, um, that's a label I already previously created, and I gave it a color. Um, you can opt to have labels skip your inbox, which I do that on my 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 regular account, the account that I use for work. Um, I didn't do that for the Google team label just as an example, but there's also a Twitter label label down here, which is red. And as you can see, it's red right there. And there's no inbox tag. There's no inbox tag. So it was filtered directly to the Twitter label. Um, and as you can see here as well, there's a there's an inbox tag. All things in the inbox have a gray inbox tag, and you can change that color if you'd like. Um, for example, here's a way to change the label color. You just you you go to the label that you want, and you go to the little drop down menu. All right. You go to the little drop down menu. For some reason, you can't change the inbox color, which is fine, whatever. Um, so you go to the little drop down menu to the right of the label, and you'll we'll just make this blue. Make Google Google Plus blue, okay? So then we'll go, we'll check out the Google Plus label, and there it is, the Google Plus team, and there it is, it's blue, all right? And you can do this with inbox as well. Um, and I, I use it with inbox just to, if, if there's something I want to leave in the inbox, but I want to have it easy to organize, um, visually, you know, just take a quick look at it and see what is where, that's a great way to do it. You know, you can have blue for Facebook, you know, uh, I don't know, yellow for me, whatever, you know, just, just something to kind of help you differentiate what's what quickly without having to look at these, this bland little title stuff right here. So, um, that's, that's essentially labels. Um, what I love, what we're going to talk about next, filters. I love filters. Love filters so much. So, we'll go to, you go to more. All right. Well, first, I'm sorry. First, you have to select, um, say that I want to filter Facebook. Okay. You'll need to select Facebook. All right. And then go to more and then filter messages like these. And there's different ways to filter. You can do uh, messages from, messages to, uh, the subject of the message, has the words, and doesn't have. Also, you can do attachments as well, which is pretty useful. Me personally, I only use from and to because once you use subject and has the words and doesn't have, you start to get a little bit less precise about what ends up in there, and I don't particularly like that. You know, I, I just I want to keep it keep it precise and just down to down to earth. Nothing nothing too crazy. But they definitely have uses. Um, so you basically just need to try that out for yourself and see um, how you like it. So anyway, we'll go ahead and create filter with this search. And say that I get a lot of messages from Facebook into my email and a lot of them are just unnecessary. Just we'll use Facebook as an example. Um, 
so you can actually skip the inbox, which sends it directly to the label that you choose, which I find that extremely useful. Um, I have a number of accounts that just send me pointless emails. You know, I mean, they're 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 good. You know, I mean, like subscription notices, um, which you definitely need to you know go back and check those out. Um, and you know, just just different notifications that are unnecessary and are repeated every single time some little action happens. So this is a great way to filter those out. So we'll go to apply the label. Well, we'll choose label first and we'll make a new label and we'll call it Facebook. All right, so we'll create that label and then we'll apply the label. And if we want to um, add this label to other conversations that we've already had, um, you can click also apply filter to one matching conversation, which I'm going to go ahead and do. Um, if you don't do that, then only the the uh, mails that you selected when you when you created the filter and then mails that come in in the future will be sorted in that manner. OK, so just keep that in mind. Um, and there's a whole bunch of different options you can do with these things, um, with, with these labels. Um, I just I never I I, uh, I never mark them as red because I want them to still be emphasized in my in my labels um, just to you know to, to show that I haven't read them and I go back and check these labels you know once a day twice a day you know maybe every other day depending on what it is or how frequent they are because you will get other messages from the mailer that aren't necessarily the the message that you're trying to ignore okay um, and one big reason that I, I do this other than organization which of course is crucial but one big reason I do this other than that is I get a lot of notifications on my phone and I just I really got tired of just getting worthless notifications repeatedly so um, so that's one reason that I did this alright so we'll go ahead and create filter alright and so your filter was created and Facebook so there's Facebook and any future Facebook notifications I get will come directly into this label okay and just a, a quick thing you know I'll go ahead and give it a color as well just to help differentiate it a little bit so we'll do teal or whatever color that is green I don't know teal yeah okay teal so that is essentially filters um, and if you guys have any more questions about filters or labels, just leave a comment below and I'll be happy to answer them. Um, I'm trying to kind of get this video done relatively quickly. Um, so, so yeah. All right. And next we're going to do signatures. Okay. Now signature has a lot of uses. Um, you can, I mean, other than, you know, basically having a formal um, footer to your email you can also put links in it or uh, basically any number of things so it, it just makes you look more professional so I, I would definitely recommend it if you have an organization um, or basically yeah, basically any kind of organization that you represent especially if you're in business um, I just I recommend it um, so you're gonna go to this little cog wheel right here and you're gonna click it and you're gonna go to settings okay now, once you get to settings, you're going to see a whole bunch of stuff, which uh, some of it may not make sense to you, but just go ahead and scroll on down, all right, and go until you get to signature, all right, and mine's already set up, but basically you type, you know, whatever, your name, um, I put a link in there as well, uh, just as an example, and a, a phone number, that's obviously not my phone number, but, you, you know, you put a phone number, and then a quick little bit of what your organization is about. Um, so yeah, and you're going to want to make sure after you do it, you're going to want to make sure you come down and you do save changes. Otherwise it uh, will unfortunately not be applied. Um, so after you save the changes, we'll go ahead and test it real quick. I'll just, as you can see, I'm, I hit compose, uh, a new mail and this is a message uh, so I can write it to whoever, put the subject, the text, and this is the the signature. I'm not actually going to write uh, a message, but I just wanted to show you that it, it is there, and it'll be there every single time unless I take it off. So that's, uh, that's pretty useful, um, definitely. 
Um, one thing I would recommend is uh, if you have an email list, definitely have a signature and include, instead of YouTube.com, which is just a basic link I put in there to show functionality, put links to your major sites, like your website, you know, your Facebook, your Twitter, et cetera, et cetera. Um, whatever you want to direct people to, go ahead and put a link there. Um, all right, so that is the signature, okay? And lastly, we're just going to check out Google Labs really quickly, which is basically, like I said earlier, a beta program for apps for your email, all right? And so there's a whole bunch of different stuff in here. You know, you really need to go through it yourself and figure out what's going on. And again, Labs is under settings, and this this bar right here at the very top, it's almost on the extreme right, not quite, um, but almost on the extreme right. So you'll click Labs, and then it'll bring it up. There's a there's a nice little uh, disclaimer about you know these things may not work, they may break, they may disappear, blah blah blah. So you know, again, just be aware these are beta and being a beta that comes with certain certain uncertainties, if you will. Um, so I just enabled Google Docs gadget, um, which I don't actually have any Google Docs on this um, on this account. Uh, or excuse me, I don't have Google Drive anything in my Google Drive for this account, but I just enabled it. Um, so to access it, first of all, when you enable it, um, in order to find it, you want to come to this leftmost column and go to the very bottom, okay? And there's going to be chat, and there's going to be gadgets, all right? So you're going to want to click on gadgets, and, whoa, yeah, you're going to want to click on gadgets, and it'll bring up a list of gadgets right here, all right? There's Google Docs. Obviously, if I had others, there'd be a list. So you're going to plus it, and there it is. So, um, and I can check all my docs, um, my new, and show different things. I'm not going to do that because it's going to end the video. Uh, unfortunately, there's I'm having an issue with my recording software on uh, basically all of my computers, and it's extremely, extremely annoying. But anyway, so I'm, I'm not going to do that. Um, but, you know, you can type, search, whatever, you know, if you know the name of what you're looking for, and it'll bring it up. Um, that's super useful. That's It's nice that you can do that all from your Gmail. It also, you know, it'll help you if you want to attach it. Again, you just, it's one less box you got to open. Um... So yeah, and guys, if you have any questions about Google Lab, just go ahead and uh, leave a comment below, and I will definitely get back to you. Um, okay, guys, well, that's been, this has been Amateur IT Help um, on just basic Gmail functionalities, um, and again, we went over um, labels, filters, uh, task list, and uh, signature, and Google Labs, okay? Um, and again, if you guys have any qu uh, questions about any of the things I've went over, just leave a comment below. Please be sure to like this video. Um, maybe share it too, favorite it as well. It really would help me out a lot. Um, I'd really appreciate it. So, oh, and anyways, guys, I'm going to be having a, a whole series on how to... Um, how to run, essentially, a promotional campaign. Um definitely check out my channel page and I'll also leave links in the description below um, to all the different things that I'm using uh, this it's gonna be a full-scale promotional campaign so please stay tuned um, if you're interested in that and I will see you guys next time.